This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the amazing all-in-one website platform that makes starting, managing, and growing your brand an easy and unique experience. More on Squarespace later in the video. Hello and welcome back to the channel. And on the last video that we put out, um, it was a tier list. And you guys seem to like that. And I really enjoy the comments. And one of the comments actually gave me the idea to do this tier list, which is the One Piece Wingman tier list. Which is pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to go over it anyway. We're just going to be going through all of the One Piece characters in this tier list, which, uh, by the way, last time... Time. The last video, it, it didn't have a bunch of One Piece characters, uh, notably a lot of the Straw Hats, like Frankie wasn't in it, Robin wasn't in it, Brooke wasn't in it. Um, so I made sure for this one, at least the Straw Hats were in it. I'm pretty sure. Let me do a double check, actually. Let's make sure Brooke is in there. Brooke, please, Brooke, don't do this. Brooke, you're the only one I'm not sure about. Brooke, Brooke. Okay, he's in there. All right, cool. I'm just blind. I'm just blind. There you are, buddy. And so, yeah, I love that comment. Thank you so much to the person that comments in it because this sounds like a really fun idea. And while I'm making the next batch of hilarious videos, I just figured, you know, this is... This is really, this is too fun not to just do it. So I figured we might as well do it. And I'm super excited to talk about the tier. So the very first tier, the highest on the tier list is going to be Barney Stinson. Now, I don't know how many of you young whippersnappers watched How I Met Your Mother, but uh, Barney Stinson is one of the greatest characters in fiction, whatever. Fight me. I know he's problematic now, but like, come on, he's... He's, he's amazing. He's a, he's a great character. And when he wants to be, he's a great wingman. And so the reason he's at the top of the tier list is I consider this when Barney is at his best, like when he's not just hoeing anybody that he can. He's actually looking out for his friends and trying to make sure that they're happy and successful in their dating life. And the reason he is at the top of the tier list is because when he is trying to be the best wingman possible, oh, he's the best. And I feel like we, even a lot of us actually have um, some friends like this. Like, do you guys have the friend that just like, as soon as he knows that you're interested in somebody, he's going to walk walk up and be like, hey, have you met this guy? Oh yeah, we got into a car crash out front, but I was actually the person that ran into him. And then he got out of his car and gave me CPR and then proceeded to save my marriage with his very kind yet aggressive counseling. Yeah, did I mention he's also a licensed therapist? That's awesome. Not to say that you need a therapist, but if you do need one, it, this guy, he, he can do it all. But that's the top of the tier list. So the next stage is the Wedding Crashers. Now, I don't know how many of you guys saw Wedding Crashers with Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson, but it's a great movie, and it's a perfect example of how you can go out with your buddy and, you know, maybe crash your wedding, and, you know, a lot of wacky stuff's gonna happen. You may be put in some compromising, you know, positions. It's not perfect by any means, and it's definitely not as elaborate of a plan as Barney would come up with, but you're going to have a good time and you may even find true love. Recently, when I went out, I was with uh, my buddy and we just, I don't know how we got to talking about this. We most have, we must have both been drunk, but um, we said, uh, yeah, we're in Wedding Crashers, uh, but which one of us is Vince Vaughn and which one of us is Owen Wilson? I would actually encourage every like group of buddies to ask themselves that question. Like when you're out with your boy, which one of you is Vince Vaughn and which one of you is Owen Wilson? That is actually a more important thing to know than I thought at first. And it could be really divisive. You know, your buddy might think he's Vince Vaughn, but he's really Owen Wilson. You might know that you're Vince Vaughn, but you're you're not Vince Vaughn. You're really Will Ferrell, actually, in that. Which, ooh, can I be Will Ferrell in that? I know I'm getting off topic, but if we are ever in a wedding crasher scenario, I want the record to state that I would I would like to be Will Ferrell. You guys can you get you can have the other actors. I, I want to be Will Ferrell in that movie. Wasn't he the coolest guy too? Like I I feel like I'm not remembering that right. I feel like the joke was that he wasn't cool. Whatever. I'm locking it in. I want to be Will Ferrell if we ever make that movie. The next tier on the tier list is going to be the cooler. Now, if you guys watch New Girl, um, you'll know what this is. Now, there's an episode where Jess wants to be Nick's wingman, and he makes a joke that she can't because you know she's is actually like his cooler because any tension that's in the room like whenever things start to get a little bit spicy Jess comes in with just way more chemistry with Nick and just kind of cools off the whole situation and you know no woman wants to be with Nick because she realizes that you know whatever he and Jess has is way deeper than anything they're gonna have which is just a situation that it doesn't have to happen every time and I really feel like if the dynamics are right or if the person that you are trying to get with is very extroverted this may not be an issue at all, but it definitely does happen. Like, you just imagine you're on a hinge date and then your very attractive friend shows up and then you guys are just doing karaoke while your date is in the corner. That's wrong, and that would be on you. You just, you definitely shouldn't have brought this person. They're cooler. So the tier below that is gonna be the crash dummy. And I listen, the crash dummy, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, there's a lot of One Piece characters that's gonna be in the crash dummy section. A crash dummy is just somebody that, you know what, 
hang on a second. Where, where are you, Luffy? Where's Luffy? Where is he? There he is. Luffy, get on in there, you crash dummy. But guys, before we continue with the video, we need to talk about today's sponsor, which is Squarespace, a platform that helps you refine your brand or business in a number of ways. And one of the best things that Squarespace can help you with is making your very own website. And as a matter of fact, if you do need to create a website, you can get started right now with Fluid Engine, Squarespace's very own drag and drop editor that makes creating your website just so easy. And yet somehow, even with it being so easy, it makes the creation of your website still a very unique experience. Experience. But of course, even without Fluid Engine, the templates that Squarespace offers for creating your website, they're all really flexible and will offer you the chance to do pretty much whatever you want when creating your website. And you can even use Squarespace as your very own blog if you need to, sharing any photos, videos, or updates for your business whenever you want. So guys, if you happen to be creating a new brand or refining an existing brand or growing a business, please consider checking out Squarespace and get started with a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to this link that's on the screen right now to receive 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. A very special thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and an equally special thank you to you for watching this video and with that we are back to the show i will say that my biggest regret from the last tier list is not putting luffy in the dog section where he belongs i i put him in the boy section because i was just too happy to go out drinking with luffy like he would be really fun i completely didn't think about the fact that like, first of all, like we would definitely get in trouble. And my thought process was like, yeah, he's going to be a crackhead. But like, you know, I really want to drink with him. And like, I feel like I would just let a lot of his crackhead stuff, you know, fall to the wayside. I wouldn't really care. But I completely neglected to think about my own crackhead tendency. So us two out together drinking, just dog. He might even be lower than that just because of the danger we are definitely both in. So just want to go on record and say I regret that decision. I will be rectifying that. Luffy, you are a crash dummy. Like, I cannot imagine going anywhere with the purpose of either meeting women or going on a date anything and then having luffy right next to me picking his nose talking about some, like becoming the pirate king no absolutely not stay in the crash dummy you stay in the crash dummy spot luffy i love you but listen you got plotted out of the dogs last time so i just gotta i gotta put you where you belong here but let me finish explaining what a crash dummy is in this tier list now for wingman this is the guy that just be scaring the hose away he just shows up and he's just doing this he doesn't care he does not care care. He does not understand the assignment. You shouldn't have brought him. This is as much, it's really on you that you brought this lunatic to the function in the first place. So yeah, now that, so yeah, let's, Luffy is where he belongs there and he's going to have a lot of people in there with him because One Piece is filled with a lot of weird people. And lastly, we have the anti-wingman, which also it, it's a real thing. I've got a couple of friends. I really just have one friend that's like really like this, but to be honest, like in the anti-wingman's defense, you, why would you bring him to be honest? Like, why would you bring the guy that you know? is just going to try his best to take home the person that you want to be taking home like why would you do that there's no reason to do that like this would be barney stinson at his worst like he agreed to help you and then just halfway through decided you know i think i think i think i can take her home and then he just does it in your face it's just they shouldn't be there as much even worse than the crash dummy because at least with the crash dummy friend you could be like i don't, I don't even know who that is all right, I know. Yeah, we rode together. What I thought I was giving a crackhead a ride to McDonald's. All right, he showed up and he wants to start drinking. No, I don't know. And if you really commit to that bit, it might work. It really might work. Or you can say that you're just with your mentally challenged friend who constantly picks his nose and screams he's going to become the Pirate King. You could say that. There is no defense for the anti-wingman. You either out him or you get out of the arena, all right, because they are, they're, they're taking everything they can. But yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tier list. So let's see, the first person we got here is Sheik. Let's see. I, God, I, I hope I'm never in the position where I have to rely on Shiki being my wingman. I'm going to be honest. He's a crash dummy. He's definitely a crash dummy. He's going to be, because remember when he, he had all them jokes in Strong World and he was like, he don't have any legs either. And his best friend is a clown and a monkey. Crash dummy. Crash dummy. I do not. There's no, I don't need this. I don't need him in my life at all. Dragon. I would say, ooh. Dragon's mysterious, and I don't know if he'd take the girl that I'm looking for. I don't know. He's definitely not going to crash out. He's definitely not going to crash out. He didn't crash out for Kuma. If he didn't crash out for Kuma, he's not crashing out to, to stop me from, from being in love. So I don't think that's going to happen. Obviously, isn't a cooler. It feels super wrong to put him in the wedding crashers or the Barney Stensions, though. Uh, hmm. 
But let me be honest. He kind of looks like Vince Vaughn. Let's be let's be real about this. What if we put him in the Wedding Crashers for now? Because you can have a good time with Dragon. I don't know. You go out drinking and, you know, you know, if if, if the ladies start like, you know, if they notice him and they say, like, oh, you're mysterious and they start trying to talk to him, that's not going to go anywhere because he doesn't do anything. He doesn't do anything when he should do something. He's definitely not going to do anything when the, the plan, the operation you guys went over is for him to do less than everything. You know what I mean? Like you walked into the function with the express purpose of like you finding love or a date or just whatever and so like the person who is a good wingman understands that they're playing co-pilot or just like second fiddle at best basically a support role dragon his entire presence is so much less than a support role in the entire story i can't imagine that he would ever be a crash dummy or an anti-wingman i just i don't see it i mean unless unless he just turns into a different person around the ladies and he just turns the riz on and it's just like ooh, it's anti-wingman central i don't know it's possible so i we can leave him in the wedding crashers like that's heavily dependent on you though that's the thing like you got to be bringing your a game enough to like make it to where it just doesn't matter if dragon's just sitting there in silence basically might be fun to drink with though i don't know i'll put him in wedding crashers it's it's okay let's go white beard white beard is i'd i'd crash your wedding with white beard i'm putting him in the wedding crashers too he's definitely not going to be a barney stinson and go through like elaborate plans to make sure that i um get the girl of my dreams definitely not a cooler obviously he's definitely is he a crash he's not a crash dummy he's not a crash dummy he's definitely not scaring it yeah he was macking on all the ladies on rox's ship or maybe i'm remembering he at least had we know for sure there's stuss and then the previous pirate empress she looked pretty fond of him i'm gonna say i'm gonna call him a wedding crasher frankie ooh, damn frankie you might be a crash dummy buddy you're just gonna be running around talking about cola and how much he does he doesn't wear pants too and those big ass shoulders he did have a manly fight with senior pink though like that was just a straight like like man off I, ooh. you know what i'm crashing a wedding with frankie i'm not gonna do that so he's a weird guy but i don't think that's not gonna like that doesn't affect me you know what i'm saying i'm still being myself all right don krieg you a crash dummy don krieg is for sure a crash dummy he didn't he walked into baradier didn't have a plan he was just like this ship is mine and got his ass whooped so crash dummy the crash dummies they don't really they don't even gotta fight for nothing they're just trying to crash out and that's you know that's all he did in the arc that he was a part of so i can't put him anywhere else let's see jack um yeah you a crash dummy i don't have too much to say about you but you not anything else law ooh. law is either a barney stinson or a wedding crasher law i would say Ooh, it's it's close it's close but i'm putting him in the wedding crashers only because law's down for shenanigans sometimes every now and then he tries to like maintain this like no nah, i'm not down with like you know he'll create an elaborate plan but like theatrics that's not really law's thing so it's hard for me to imagine the whole you know we were just in a car crash and he gave me cpr and he saved my marriage i can't imagine law doing that so i'm sorry you are not you're not in there Ooh, ivankov on the other hand Oh, yeah. He's our first Barney Stinson. Because Ivankov's just fun. You go out drinking with Ivankov, like, there's no way. He's definitely making sure that both me and my date are having a great time. And he's just like, you know, he's. I could just see it now. He's a Barney Stinson. So, wow, you know what? The very first Barney Stinson. You know what, Ivankov? You earned it. I love your character. Here's Jimbe. Jimbe's a wedding crasher. He cannot be a Barney Stinson for the same reason that Law can't. All right, I'm going to move him up to the number two for the um wedding crashes though because i would really ooh actually no i'm sorry he's gonna be number three because frankie's right there next to law jimbe would do an amazing job he would definitely be there for you and help out he's just not the too too much theatrics they're already confusing him he just joined the straw hats and like the overly dramatic things that they all do he's already confused so i know for a fact he's not going to be able to keep up with my dramatic ass whenever we get out there and like i need him to come up with like this elaborate scenario to impress someone he's just not gonna do it odin oh jesus odin you are a crash dummy too let me think about it a little bit more let me see let me see i guess you know i could yeah yeah he's stupid i don't know why he believed kaido and orochi but i guess that i'm gonna be i don't think that makes him a crash dummy he definitely doesn't just well hang on a second 
No, I'm keeping Odin there. Enough people like him. Like, he was liked by everybody. So, he's, that's charismatic enough. I'm going to give him the Wedding Crashers. Lucky Rue. Hmm. I'll put you in Wedding Crashers, buddy. Really, all the Shanks pirates, like, they... And look, there's Shanks. Okay, like, really all the Shanks... Ooh, actually, Shanks might be a Barney Stinson. Shanks is such a, like, he will ride for you. Like, it's hard. I'm a, Ooh. But is he dramatic? Would he do, like... I think, actually... Because, you know, like, when he encourages Buggy to do stuff that he doesn't want to do... You remember at the end of Marineford when uh, Shanks is like, Hey, can you take this hat back to Luffy? And Buggy was like, why should I? And I forgot what Shanks says, but he he got Buggy to do what he asked him to do. I feel like they would make really good wedding crashers. Um, but Shanks, I feel like... I don't know why. I don't... Uh, I guess it kind of can't... To be a Barney Stinson, you gotta be dramatic. I, th I feel like that's the thing. Like, you have to put on the theatrics and you have to be willing to act... Shanks would probably just come up and be like, you know, he's the greatest, right? Or I don't even think he'd say that. I think he'd be more like, um, wedding crasher. I'm sorry. Yeah, Barney Stinson has to be like the most dramatic. Like they will, they will do whatever it takes to make sure the mission is accomplished. Do Flamingo, God, go ahead. Anti wingman. That, that, I don't trust that man with anything. I, I don't think anyone should have ever trusted. Look at him. He's just, he's still wearing sunglasses and impaled down. Who let him keep those? Like the man still looks like he's up to something in prison. What could you possibly be up to, Do Flamingo? Take those sunglasses off. So hell no, we get out there, whatever. I, first of all, I would never tell him anything like, oh, I, I like her, or this is the plan, this is whatever. No, he's just gonna hoe. I wouldn't tell him anything. So again, I, no reason. Like why would I invite him to the function? So we can just be talking to my girl with his abs all out? No, no, no thank you. You stay right there, Do Flamingo. Fujitora, you could be a wedding crasher. Um. Don't see you being too much of anywhere else. Sabo, ooh. Sabo's not gonna crash out. He's definitely not an anti-wingman either. So he's either a wedding crasher or a Barney Stinson. I don't see him being too... How good would he even be at being a Barney Stinson? That's the thing. Like, I don't know. Like, you gotta really be, like... I haven't seen him be goofy enough. I'm making him a, re a wedding crasher. Okay. Big Mom, Jesus, that's an anti-wingman. If for no other reason, then she might eat the person that I'm interested in. Hope that doesn't sound like a fat phobic joke. She's just, I mean, she's eating people in the story already. I, I don't know, like, that. that's what I'm scared of. And you can be like, oh, it was just one time. I mean, I feel like if you accidentally eat somebody, first of all, who accidentally eats a person? But even if you, if you eat a person once, I feel like that's, that's enough for me to ben beckman definitely a wedding crasher kaido <laughs> he's a wedding crash dummy i tell you what if i brought kaido to a wedding he'd get drunk and just start trying to actually for some reason the whole wedding might jump kaido on the roof for some reason ace definitely a wedding crasher ace might try his best to like because imagine i'm imagining like if ace and luffy went out and luffy was like hey i really like like that part which would never happen but imagining that if they did i could see ace doing some ridiculous over the top like scenario like for luffy f specifically maybe it's just because maybe it's just because i miss ace and now i'm getting sad but you know i'm i'm keeping him in the wedding crashers i can imagine him being a very good barney stinson i can truly imagine him being a very good barney stinson but mm, I, to be honest i can't see him being a better wedding crasher than frankie or law, to be honest. So if I'm being charitable, better than Jimbe for sure. But I can't see him being a better wedding crasher than Frankie or law. So he definitely can't be in the Barney Stinson category. Young white beard, like prime white beard. I don't know, man. He might be an anti wingman. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh my God. He is ready to take all the women for himself. Look at him. Look at that hair, that smile. I don't know what that mustache is, but it is, it's still so cool. God, and here comes Sanji. I'm going to be honest. So, uh, he's a wedding crasher. He's going to be trying to, the only reason he's not an anti wingman, he's because he, he would be trying to be, but okay, but hang on. Let me, let me imagine this. Cause I was about to say, he would be like trying to be an anti wingman, but because this would be the One Piece world, then no one would take him seriously unless he's being his actual, just genuine Sanji self. But if we're going out drinking in the real world, oh my God. I'm just, yeah, you might be an anti wingman, dude. It's just I know that there's some women that would fold immediately. And I don't blame them. I do not blame them at all. So if I pull up and it's just me and Sanji hanging out, yeah, I'm sorry, dude. You got to get 
in the anti-wingman spot. I don't know. Maybe that's me not understanding the value that I bring to the table or me accurately understanding the value that Sanji would bring to the table. I, I cannot cook. I can't kick. I can smoke cigarettes, but I don't look nearly as cool or French as he does. So let's just... You just stay at home, buddy. I'm sorry. You're you're one of the boys. We'll bring you out drinking whenever we go out drinking. But if I'm if I'm trying to catch a lady's attention, you you keep your ass at the house. All right. You you keep your ass on the sunny. It's Doflamingo again for some reason. Whatever. The awakened Doflamingo state. I don't know what the fuck. That, you're staying at home, Doflamingo. Oh, I guess that was younger Doflamingo. Whatever. They're both they're both not coming out with me. All right. So we got Chopper. Ooh, Chopper. Chopper would engage with the shenanigans of a Barney Stinson. You know, he would do that. He would not actually. Yeah, he's got to go in there because you know, they don't have to come up with the ideas. They just have to be willing to like go with it. If if I pull up somewhere with Chopper, 100%. This is my son. Um, my wife left us and, you know, don't worry. He's a reindeer. Don't worry about that. What you need to worry about is how cute he is. Do you want to complete our family? That's, that's what I do, probably. I gotta say, that is a sound strategy. It's simple, but it's super sound. All right, and so we're getting... So there's Vivi. I think Vivi... I would crash your wedding with Vivi. I don't think she'd be a cooler at all. Vivi would be, like, perfect, like, just peak energy. And she would care enough about, like, not only me, but, like, the entire group, if we're with a group, to just make sure everybody's drinking and having a good time. So love you, Vivi. Can't wait to see more of you in the story. A Yamato... God, Yamato might crash out. I don't know. Yamato probably not an anti-wing man, but yeah, I'd crash a wedding with Yamato. It's just weird. She'd be running around being like, I'm Kozuki Odin. And then, you know, but I feel like that's not going to scare anybody away. And we would have fun. We truly would have fun drinking and stuff like that. And I don't know that she'd understand the point of the reason is for me to make sure that I get a girl's attention, but you know, maybe she doesn't have to. We can still crash a wedding. The wedding crashes tier is looking like it's um it's turning out to be the most like the most people might be in here. I was sure that the crash dummies would be the ones with the most people in it, but you know, the night's still young. We'll see. All right, next we got Pedro. Pedro's probably a wedding crasher. I don't think he's gonna crash out unless he's got a good reason. Um, and you know, I don't think if he's, if you got a good reason to crash out, it's not a crash out. Arlong, I just, you are definitely, you're not gonna, you're a crash out. You're a crash dummy. Katakuri, I'd crash a wedding with Katakuri. He look, he, listen, Luffy and them, they crashed a wedding. Cat was not prepared at all. And listen, he made the best with what, so not only is Cat good at improvising, he's good at damage control. You need that. I can't see him. Like, going the route of a dramatic Barney Stinson. I, can, I don't think I can ever see that. But I can definitely see him as... I can see us crashing a wedding together. I would be the ridiculous one in that comedy duo. Um, but he would definitely... He might just stand there. He might not say anything. Who knows? But that maybe that's enough. Maybe I can do something with that. I don't know. Who the hell... Is that supposed to be Joy Boy? I don't know. I gotta assume that if he's anything like Luffy... When I see that straw hat, I just assume... Oh, yeah. They're crashing out. They are crashing out. Axan Morgan, yep. Go ahead and crash out with the other crash out dummies. Baby Five. Baby Five Ki Baby Five probably would be a cooler. I say that because she's so like needy and stuff. So like she would like be talking to me. Like I don't know, even if she understood the assignment. If we went out and I just let's say I, I say something and I'm like, uh, hey, don't step there, you'll fall. And she'll be like, Oh, you're you, you tried to save me does this mean we're about to be married or whatever the joke she was making and you can't be saying that even in this picture like she's blushing and she's ready to just profess her undying love at the drop of a hat L listen respect if you're that like ready to jump into a relationship i don't have anything against it that is not the mission here though baby five so you're gonna you would be a cooler adam sandler kizaru that is yeah i'd crash i would i would i will always crash a wedding with adam sandler the real one or Kizaru, more just the real Adam Sandler, but because they, he reminds me so much of Adam Sandler from Click, I would I would crash a wedding with Kizaru. Brooke, man, get, before I put him where I just feel like we all know that Brooke is gonna go. Can you imagine going out hoping to get the the attention of of a woman, and you bring this burping and farting skeleton that's constantly asking your date if she will show him her panties. And then he just pulls out a violin and just starts singing like 
listen, that is perhaps the funniest thing that can happen from the night, but is it what you should do if you really want things to progress with this woman? I do not think I need to explain further. Brooke, you are the crashest of crash dummies. Um, I cannot bring you anywhere around a woman that I'm serious about, at least until she understands. Like, like Brooke is the type of friend that you would have to be like, hey, listen, we've been dating for a while. I just want you to know I've got a friend. He's a burping and farting skeleton that's going to ask you if he can see your panties. All right. That's just what he does. If you love me, you're going to you're going to let it slide. You'll learn to love him, too. But yeah, let's see. A Kainu, I'm going to say he's too serious. He might be a crash out dummy, too. You mad? If I bring a Kainu into and be like, all right, listen, a Kainu, I really like this girl. Let's go over there. He's going to be like, does she believe in justice? That's not the that's not the point of all this, because, you know, all pirates deserve to die. I okay okay that's fine be that as it may that again that's not why we're here okay because i'm here to kill pirates and it's just like i just yeah he's crashing out he's crashing out as soon as he gets there and in fact knowing me i'm probably attracted to the pirates but let's see who do we have next so now we're going to granddaddy garp but this is young garp it looks like i don't know if we're gonna run into old garp yep i see him there too so young garp let me see Young Garp, he's a wedding crasher. I mean, mm. yeah, I give, you know, I think he'd keep his head on straight. I don't think he's going to be a crash gen. Damn, he is a monkey D, though. But then so is Dragon. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's just Luffy that's, that literally cannot act right at all wherever he goes. Mihawk. Now, Mihawk, ooh, that's a, that's a tough one. He's, mm, I don't know. He's just got too much sauce. That's Way too much sauce. And he's just tossing the sauce around haphazardly. He doesn't care. He's he's getting everybody wet. Blackbeard. That's a crash dummy if I've ever seen one. That man, listen. I, oh my God. He's not an anti-wingman, but if he could, he would. Like, Blackbeard is just trying to hoe whoever he uh, can, to be honest. But realistically, well, hang on. Let's think about this. Is he a crash dummy? Because... He came up with a really good plan, and it ended up making him an emperor of the sea. So he, damn, I cannot put him in the Barney Stinson group. He's got good plans, but they only benefit him. And I don't want to join the Blackbeard Pirates just so I can score. That just that just feels wrong. He's definitely going to scare people away, though. Look at him and those teeth. Yeah, he can, he can, he can stay right there. Like, he's not going crash out but god he is going to say something he's going to be talking about z ha 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 and you know what if what if bonnie's also at the party and he asks her to be his girl again i don't he's he's crashing out that's definitely going to scare some people away crocodile is definitely an anti-wingman though for one thing too much sauce um another thing uh he just he's just too selfish too like i can't imagine like can you imagine asking crocodile we need to go out to the bar there's this woman i'm really interested in and he'd be like sure thing mugiwara let me just grab my cigar and my coat that i'll drape over my shoulders instead of wearing like an actual jacket and let me grab my hook hand too so that no matter what everyone will know that i am a james bond villain and you might want to go home with me instead so yeah whether he's able to pull the woman that you're interested in or not i think that goes down to who the woman is but i you know i don't know I see people folding the crocodile if for not if for no other reason than just money. He looks like he definitely he'll get you whatever bag you need. Honestly, Sengoku, I mean, Sengoku, I feel like Sengoku. I don't know. He isn't gonna crash out, but he also just isn't gonna do anything. He's not gonna stick with any type of plan. He's just gonna, sure, whatever. I can I can compensate for him. He can get in wedding crashes, although I just really don't like doing He's doing all the wedding crashes to disservice even being in there. That's old Sengoku too. He's just, it'd be like if me, if I went out drinking with an old man and I was like, all right, no, all right, granddad, and now you need to help me get this woman. Mm, you might have some jokes though. I'll keep him there, but just know that it's not, it's not, I wish there was another tier in here that I could put him in. I'm really upset about that, but whatever. We'll move on. Gold Roger. Well, go ahead and sit right next to Crocodile, Gold D. Roger. That is too much Riz. I don't trust that he would help. If it's any consolation, to be honest, he might be a crash out dummy, but... You know, to be honest, I, I, I'm putting him in writing crashers. I'm really upset about Sengoku being in there, too. I'm so upset about that, but he just doesn't fit anywhere else, so it just it just has to happen. Marco, definitely in the wedding crashers. I, I could see us having a lot of fun. Uh, Spandum, eesh, crash out, dummy. He's scaring, the, he's scaring everybody away, to be honest. 
Usopp or God Usopp. Ooh. That's a Barney Stinson, actually. In, in general, Usopp's got the plans. Usopp, he will create a scenario. I, I might not have to do anything. Me and Usopp, ooh, that might be the best one. That might be the best one. Usopp might be the Barney Stinson of the group so far. He is, he might be perfect. He literally might be perfect. Can you imagine going somewhere with Usopp and you're like, listen, this is the mission. I'm really interested in this woman. Usopp's gonna have a step-by-step -step plan. But even if it doesn't work, he's gonna make everybody laugh executing that plan. Or let's say the plan was mine and Usopp's just a participant in it. I, it's just, it's gonna be funny and it's gonna be endearing. Even if it's not funny or endearing, I can still at the end of the day be like, yeah, I don't know who that guy is either, but, you know, what's your number? Basically, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't think Usopp would care about that. If all else fails, I can improvise and save the situation, or Usopp can improvise and save the situation. Like, you got two comedic geniuses on the prowl. There's no way I don't see that going bad at all. I'm going to knock on wood just in case I'm ever in a situation like that in the future, and we're going to go. Carrot is... She's, I wouldn't call I probably would care it probably would be really fun to drink with actually and I would say she's probably a cooler just because no nah, I'm putting her in wedding crashers if if Sengoku's in there carrot should be in the wedding crashers that you're right yeah I'm sorry that was almost a grave oversight Captain Kuro let's see bring your dumb ass in the god see to be a crash dummy you don't even have to really be all that crazy you just have to have a really stupid idea or a really stupid plan but believe wholeheartedly that it's gonna work out with the most minimal effort. And that was Kuro's arc to a T. And he's definitely scaring women away with those cat hands, the, the knives that are attached to his fingers while he adjusts his glasses. He looks like an idiot. I hate him. God, you know, that's it feels like a disservice putting him in there with the other crash dummies. But to be fair, crash dummies is like, like if they come out with you and they're at the function and you need them to be there to get a woman's attention or that you they're a part of your plan to get some woman's attention. To be fair, all of these people in there, if they come with you, it's not game over. Like, it's not game You can salvage the situation at the very least. Be like, I don't even know this person. I'm so sorry. Whatever. You can salvage it somehow. Okay, I do actually still believe that with Kuro because, because to be honest, he's just going to be stuck up. He's just probably going to leave. He's not going to be invested in the plan at all. And I can be like, well, that guy was that guy sucked, didn't he? His character was really not complex at all. I'm really glad we got rid of him in like three episodes. And this is still better than the anti-wingmen because, again, if they show up, you just leave. You got to go. All right. Which come to think of it, why is Big Mom in there? Big Mom ain't stealing my girl. She would definitely just be a crash dummy. She's crashing out. I've eating people isn't crashing out. I don't know what is. So let's see, Captain Kid. Listen, I don't really want to make you my Vince Vaughn or Owen Wilson, but you, actually, what am I doing? You a crash dummy too. Anybody who tries to fight emperors the way kid fights emperors, I just, if there's ever an issue, you're going to be like, well, let's just punch our way out of it. And it's like, no, that is going to work for Luffy. That is that you can't get yourself out of those situations too. I swear to God, kid was like, well, if Straw Hat can do it, I can do it too. And it's like, God, dude, I just, kid doesn't have any smart people on his team. Like he's got killer, but it's like, that's still, he clearly needs more smart people too. Cause killer's on go too, too much on go. In fact, to like accurately like save him or stop him. So now we've got Yasop, the deadbeat father of the year. He's a wedding crasher. I, like I said, all the Shanks pirates, I can't imagine them being anything less than a wedding crasher. Perona, I mean, I think Perona would be a good wedding crasher. I think, well, no, cause Perona seems like she's too, like she'd be a cooler and here's why. Perona is too like selfish, I think is the word. Like if there was a social event, I, I can only imagine her being like the person that like stands on the table and starts like, like she's like power from Chainsaw Man. So like she's taking the attention and she's bringing it to her. And like whether the attention is like, you know, I'm directing all of my attention to her. It, that's one thing. I just feel like all the entire group, like they're gonna be paying attention to her and it's just, it's not gonna, it's gonna get in the way. So I gotta put Perona in the cooler section. Rocks, I mean, you're a silhouette, dude. I don't know. Not taking any girls, but I just, every story they tell us about you has me thinking you're gonna crash out if I bring you anywhere. Uta, let's see, she'd be singing and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uta probably, probably would go along with like a long con. She would, and she'd be able, I mean, the entirety of Film Red is just her being a very manipulative and abusive person for 
I mean, she thinks it's for a good reason, so sure, whatever. But I'm gonna. Should I put her in the Barney Stinsons? Uh, I think she'd be good. Nah, cause she grew up with Luffy, so like, yeah, she's down to she's down to clown, and she's like, yeah, 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 no, 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 no. I, I think I think I want to put her in a Barney Stinson. That's pretty high, Uta. That's crazy, but yeah, you'd probably if I if I had like an elaborate scenario. Ooh, and she can sing. Oh, I f ooh, nope, it's over. Yeah, I bring her. She just starts singing. It's like, oh, yeah, he wrote this song for you. And then she just starts singing. Yeah, no, yeah, Barney Stinson. She, she's, I'm, I'm bringing her. Let's go. Aokiji. All right, so Aokiji. Ooh. Damn. You remember when he pulled up on Long Ring Long Land and immediately started hitting on Nami? And Nico Robin. He said she was a very good looking young woman. Yep, you get in the anti wingman spot, Kuzan. I ain't gonna care if you look like you just can't control yourself. So, you, there you go, buddy. Smoker, I mean, Smoker, you might crash out, bro. No, I, I'd crash your wedding with you. you. You just smoke so much. Can you imagine going to like a function? with your friend and with the express purpose of like impressing a woman and your boy is just chain smoking cigars not even cigarettes cigars he's giving the entire party lung cancer with all the secondhand smoke they'd be inhaling like it's god i oh man he might that's not crashing out if he can control his need to smoke for just like three sec he can't do it that's crazy. You're right. He can't do that. So he's going to have to crash out, I guess. But could you imagine the girl you're trying to impress? What's wrong with your friend? Oh, he, you know, he just needs to smoke constantly. But those are cigars. I know. Um, we have tried to tell him. It has been many an intervention. And at, I got to say, I don't think it's I don't think it's going to help. So to be clear, he could be a wedding crasher. Like he absolutely could have like a really good time. I don't see him ever being a Barney Stinson, but he's got wedding crasher like potential. But if he just keeps chain smoking cigars, because remember, this is the real world. Everybody is smelling those cigars that he's smoking. So it's like, that's going to piss me off. That's going to make me want to be like, I don't know who he is. He's definitely got a problem, doesn't he? So yeah, sorry, Smoker. You're right there next to Captain Crackhead on this one. Oh my God. What was her name? The lady from Impel Down. Was that Sadie? I'm pretty sure it's Sadie. Sadie Chan. Sadie Chuan. Oh boy. Listen, um, I got to be honest. I deeply enjoy... No, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Let's just say I'm going to... Let's just say I would be very interested in Sadie's ideas for date night. Let's just say I would be very interested in that. Um, I would be more interested in that than the vast majority of what anyone I know currently would have to say on a date or just a function or literally anything. I would care more about what Sadie wants to do that night than I would care about anything else. So... She's a cooler, for sure. Rayleigh, I... You're a wedding crasher. Don't see him being a Barney Stinson, although the potential's there. I think if I had a great plan, I think he'd he'd commit. I think. I'm not really... I'm not too sure, but I think that's that'd be what would be the case. Granddaddy Crackhead Garp. He is crashing out. He's just angrier in his old age. Like, that's the thing. Like, he could be like... In a, like in the wedding crashers for sure but at the same time like just in his old age he's just ready to prove that he can still box and i just see him i don't know why i just see him like for some reason right now now nah, i guess to be honest i can see him i could i'll put him in the wedding crashers because it still would be really fun how good he would he how good he would be at being an actual wingman though God, not at all. Actually, this is making me rethink why is even young Garp in the Wedding Crashers? Old Garp, for sure. He is definitely... Because he'd be start thinking... But he's not caring about making you look good. He doesn't care about that. He's going to start talking about his grandson, and he's going to fall asleep mid-conversation. He's going to... It's just a spectacle. And really, she's going to be like, why did you come here with your grandfather? I'm going to be like, I don't know. I, I have no idea. Rob Lucci. That is... Listen... I, I, he would try to he an anti wingman is what i'm gonna give him god that's actually a good point if i bring him somewhere and he sees somebody like if luffy is also there he's crashing out but but just just me and luchi and we're out and we're trying to get a girl i think he would just kind of like stand i don't think he would try to take a girl so i guess he can't be an anti wingman i just the only reason why i was putting him there in the first place is like if if she's into really italian leopards then 
I mean, I'm not that. I'm, I'm neither of those things. So Rob Lucci would definitely be your go-to. I don't know. It feels wrong calling him a crash dummy, but he de I definitely don't want to crash. Let's let's really think about this. I hate Lucci so much, though. I don't want to invite him anywhere. Like, what the fuck? What would I be doing? I'll put you in the crash dummies. Buggy is... Fuck <laughs> Buggy. Buggy is... Um, he doesn't bathe, and he just smells, but I'm going to say he's a crash dummy. Spent like All versions of Buggy, by the way. Like, remember, it, when we first meet him, he's just... Dragging a cannon across town filled with buggy balls and he's just blowing people up. That's gonna scare a lot of people away. I'm sorry, Buggy. I, there's not really like, do I think we could have some pretty fun wedding crashers adventures? Absolutely, Buggy, but just being realistic, I see you as much more of a crash dummy. Anel, God, anti wingman. He just looks like he is ready to take your girl. He's gonna try at least. And I don't see that many women falling for that long earlobed asshole, to be honest, but. Different strokes for different folks. You know, maybe those earlobes really does something for her. And if if she's into long earlobes, I do not have a chance. And NL has all of the chances. And he would 100% take that chance. So he's an anti-wingman. Judge. God, so stupid. Again, a big proponent of being a crash out is just, you just have to scare the women away. And you have to have a really dumb plan that you really believed would work. So... No, because if you have a similar wingman type plan that's really stupid and you believe it, you're going to crash out. So, yeah, that's where Judge is going. Oh, my God. I don't. What is it? Who is this guy? I want to say Pepe Silvia. That's not his name. Uh, so what is his fucking name? God, what is it? Is the guy that was listening to Fresh and Fit podcast trying to get with an underage mermaid the entire time in Fishman Island? You're a crash out. I don't know. You're a crash dummy for sure. Just by that, I don't need to remember your name. Just by that definition alone, you are crashing out if I bring you anywhere. Let's see. There's Hine or Hime, whatever. She's in the Marines. We can crash her wedding. I feel like she would have, I don't know that much about her, but I feel like, I feel like she'd be able to keep her wits about her enough to like make a really fun situation now again i don't know the wedding crashers means we're gonna have a fun time but something bad might potentially happen and you're not gonna come up with any elaborate plans to save me or facilitate the outcome that we both need to happen you're just gonna be there you're gonna be great company and we're gonna have a like some good laughs and stuff so kuma kuma or is that kuma or a pacifista because i learned last time there's a difference let me look for any other kumas here we're just gonna say that that's kuma so Kuma, so Kuma, the real Kuma, I think he would be a wedding crasher. He's definitely not crashing out. He's definitely not an anti-wing man. He's definitely not a cooler. It's either a wedding crasher or a bar. He's a wedding crasher. I don't see him coming up with any elaborate plans or even going with, I could actually see him. Hang on a second. If I come up with the plan, I'm, I'm leaving him. He feels like in the same vein as like a Jimbe. I'm leaving him there. Uh, Gecko Moira or Moria, whatever you are. You were crashed on me. Your plan was stupid. Zoro, I like, you don't really fight for no reason. And I don't think he would try to take anyone's girl. I don't think he cares. This might be controversial. I think I would crash a wedding with Zoro. I think I, I think I would. Is he's gonna drink? We're both gonna get drunk. He's gonna drink me under the table, uh, or you know, because he's not gonna get drunk before I do. I don't think. And from there, he might not even ruin anything at the party. Every time the Straw Hats have a party, Zoro's never doing anything crazy. He's just having a good time. So yeah, I'm putting him in the wedding crashers. He's still on go. And again, the wedding crashers doesn't guarantee that we're gonna have the perfect time. Things could still go wrong. There's still an element of danger. Maybe Zoro's bringing all the danger. I don't know, but I still want to go. I still want to crash that wedding with him. Oh, and here comes Nami. So there goes my life. She's a cooler for sure. There's just, it is difficult for me to imagine a situation where I'm with Nami and like I'm paying attention to somebody else when I could just be paying attention to Nami. Because the thing, she, she drinks whenever they go out to the party. She gets down. She has a great time. She's dancing. She's having a good time. Like Nami looks like just like the biggest ball of extroverted fun. I just genuinely think that she would be more fun than who's ever attention I'm trying to get in that moment. You know, I just, I really feel like me and Nami would hit it off just a little bit more or probably a lot more and just have a better time. So yeah, Nami, sorry, you would be a cooler. You're also just too damn... Mm, you know what you are. There you go. Tashigi. Now, Tashigi, we can crash a wedding. Tashigi would probably be my... Tashigi would definitely be my straight man, honestly, in any comedic duo, in any wingman duo. She would just be there to just, like, basically be, like, you know, my friend to support my decisions or, I don't know, 
Yeah, I don't know. It's really like, but she, yeah, she'd be, she'd be a wedding crasher. Here comes Sengoku again. God, young Sengoku. Sure, we'll put you in the wedding crashers. Look, I'll, I'll tell you this. You can come, but only if Garp is there too. Like, it's not a good idea. Not a good idea. And while we're at it, hang on, you get, you get in there too. You, the young Garp had no business being up there with wedding crashers. He, he was going to ruin it. I could feel it. That monkey D name is, is nothing to play with. He was going to ruin things as soon as he got the chance. Nico Robin, our girl in the cowboy hat. Go ahead and sit right next to Nami. I don't know if I need to explain this, but I love Robin. Love her a whole lot. And she's just, she's one of the best characters in the entire show. And one of the best straw hats too. Like just having conversations with her would be infinitely more interesting than probably anyone else in any scenario she might not actually want to have conversations she might just want to read her book at the bar but even that allure i would just be constantly going back to just like have her say like a dark joke or something like that i just really imagine that robin's presence would be again just more interesting than anyone else that i would be around that being said though i do see robin she's way less extroverted than nami so I feel like Robin could, like, if I could control, like, how much attention I give to Robin, I feel like Robin would be very good at using her energy wisely to make sure we get the, the mission done. And, yeah. Yeah, actually, Robin's a wedding crasher. I would crash a wedding with Robin. Corazon... I would crash your wedding with you. We could go out. You could be my... He's the, he even looks kind of like Owen Wilson. I'll take it. You, you, That's definitely you. Sugar. Sugar, what the hell are you doing here? What the hell? You just... She turns people into toys. I don't know if that's a crash out, but... Yeah, that's a crash out for sure. It ain't nothing else. I'll tell you that much. Young Rayleigh. I... <laughs> God, I'll be honest. <laughs> too much sauce get in there i'm sorry anti-wingman uh is that who the fuck who is that that's either i think that's demon nico robin or the same reason that sadie Chuan would be a cooler i'm gonna put demon nico robin in the cool what like what am i supposed to say uh, hi how are you you look very beautiful today this is my friend demon nico robin uh the oars jr <laughs> I can't imagine going anywhere with that big ass. Listen, I feel like he's going to be on go. And even if he's not, he's huge. What would I even? This is my giant friend. No, we can't really hang out with him. He's He doesn't really know how to do anything besides wear a hat and go to war. I don't. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Let's see. Uh, Mad Monk Arouge. Isn't one of the things he loves to do make love? He's just a guy who's just banging all across the, the world. Get 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 away from me. Zombie oars. <laughs> I mean, you listen, he is definitely scaring everybody. Alti is gonna demand my attention just way too much. She's like that with Pepe. Ugh, God. That sounds wrong. I don't think anyone besides her can call page one Pepe. Ah, yeah, that sounds disgusting, but if page one isn't there, um, yeah, then, you know, she's going to be demanding attention pretty much from everybody. King, I mean, if King keeps the gimp suit on, then he's a crash dummy because he's scaring all of the women away. If he takes it off, though, he's an anti-wingman. So what do we do here, King? I'm going to keep you in the crash dummy position just because your mask is still on in that picture if it was off you'd be an anti-wingman for sure rebecca and her ridiculous gladiator outfit i would say we can crash a wedding she can't really be a barney stinson she doesn't seem like she can lie or put on an act and she's really just gonna cry the first chance she gets so yeah i'd crash a wedding with you though for sure i don't see that going bad kobe I'd crash your wedding with him. Kobe, you can't lie. Your, your, your attack name is Honest Impact. You definitely can't be as theatrical as these goats that are up here, the Barney Stensons that would carry me through their ridiculous situations that they would adventure. Now, that being said, I would love to crash your wedding with you. All right, I would love. Let's go out. Let's do 
you know, I would even love to be his wingman. Let's see, Sanji's blue haired brother, anti wingman, even though he kind of looks like an SJW Johnny Bravo. Jesus Burgess, crash out dummy, he's scaring everybody away with all that. We ha ha ha, shut your ass up, Duval. That's a crash dummy if I've ever seen one. Um, Polly. Polly can be a wedding crasher. Again, very strong Owen Wilson going on there. Owen Wilson vibes. I'll take it. Raise you. Cooler. <laughs> Definitely cooler. Sanji's redheaded brother, whose Japanese voice actor is the same as Sasuke. Um, they all have to be in the anti-wingman position for sure because they just don't care here's the number four the green hair dude they just don't care they don't care if they get the chance to steal your girl they will do it and they'll just laugh at you so that's just that's why this that's why they're in here the only one that doesn't fit that is probably young Rayleigh but listen I don't put they're pirates I don't put nothing past them all right so now we got Buddha Sengoku god you really gonna make me take you to a wedding too are you a crash out dummy actually because why are you why did you awaken your devil fruit when we're at the function? What are you doing? Yeah, I'll do anything not to put three Sengokus in the wedding crasher spot. Good God, Boa Hancock. God, listen. We knew she'd be a cooler. Here's the thing, guys. You guys remember the episode that aired not too long ago with Kobe? He was had to dodge a kick from Boa Hancock, and then he was like, oh, so fast. I can't dodge. Yeah, okay. Bullshit, dude. I just wouldn't have dodged. If you saw those legs coming at you at 90 miles per hour, like her high heel was about to end your existence, would you panic? Would you run? Or would you thank God for a glorious death? I, who the hell, oh, that's the guy from Alabasta, Ingram, I think is what his name was, the guy that knows, uh, Vivi, Princess Vivi, I just, jeez, I don't want to, like, I think he's gonna scare people away, I just don't, the wedding crasher spot, I want this to be people I genuinely like, I, it makes me so upset that Sengoku is in here twice, young and old Sengoku, but just because he's not a Barney Stinson, a cooler, or a crash dummy, and he's definitely not an anti-wingman. I have to put him there. But I, in general, just want the, the wedding crasher spot to be people that I like, but they're not extraordinary enough to be a Barney Stinson. So far, that's the top That's the top tier, the most illustrious. Who is this frog person? What the hell is... I don't know, guys. We're going to put her in the crash out section. Please let me know in the comments if that was a good decision or a bad decision. I don't even know who this is. How did she sneak in here? Here we go. Best boy, Bon Clay. You, listen. It is so, dude, the Barney Stinson tier, I'm so happy about this tier. I can see each and every one of these people with the exception of Chopper. Um, but again, he doesn't need, you don't need to come up with the ideas, but I can see everybody in this tier, like, they can... Ooh, they are creating like a top tier event that'll make me seem like the best person ever. They are, listen, Barney Stinson. This guy in Whiskey Peak, he was just throwing boogers at people. Go ahead and crash out, you dummy. This, Mr. One is just, he's just a bunch of knives. Stop it. Crash out. Mr. Three, he's got wax everywhere and he's got that weird voice and he's talking about wax, wax, puck. Get in the crash out section. I have absolutely no idea who this is. Like, none whatsoever. I have no idea. Just crash out. Suru? I mean, we put Sengoku in Wedding Crashers. Why Why not, dude? Whatever. He may again? I guess this is time skip. Admiral, he may... Whatever. We'll put her in the Wedding Crashers. This guy who survived being turned to stone by stabbing himself in the hand. Now, I would call him a killjoy if we were going out drinking. Um, but honestly, that's just, I'm just like, I'm annoyed that I would never think to do that. Like if I, if I come across Boa Hancock, I want everybody to know I had a great life and I'm just a stone person now. I've been turned to stone. If you can't, please try to convince her to turn me back to normal. But if you can't, I understand. Just, just know that this guy, he like had enough clairvoyance to be like, well, okay, this can't be it for me. So he stabs himself in the hand to stay there. That's, you know, I'd call that a killjoy. He just seems a little bit too serious for me, but also at the same time, you know, I'll show respect. He can be, I can maybe crash your wedding with him. I need to know that if some wacky stuff happens, you can think on your feet that fast. So, you know what? I'll give I'll give you your props. You're a wedding crasher. Virgo, oh my God. Get you, right? Go ahead and you an anti-wingman with Doe Flamingo. 
I don't think you could steal my girl, but you know, you would try to, if for no other reason, because Do Flamingo would tell you to try to. Young Roger, he, look at him. Look at this man. He is ready to crash out. Look at him. Look at this lunatic. You could just tell. Look at the straw hat. I'm telling you, he is ready to crash out. I'm locking that in. Caesar, ready to crash out. Monet, oh. Mm, I'm going to be honest. I just, Monet don't listen to anybody but Joker. But I just, I can see her being a cooler, to be honest, because, no, nah, I don't know. I don't really care too much about her character, to be honest. But a bird person is probably way more interesting than whoever you're supposed to be on a date with, right? Let's see. The next is Kiemon, and I'm going to say, no, nah, he's, you're a good wingman, dude. Let's crash a wedding. All right, next we have Kaku, which... Hmm. Kaku seems reasonable. He doesn't seem like a crash dummy. I can't believe I'm saying this. Kaku doesn't feel like a crash dummy, and he's definitely not an anti-wingman. So I guess I'd make him a wedding crasher. That's crazy. The only way... Lu Luchi... Low-key, Luchi's kind of the same way. I just don't like him, like, at all. So there's no reason that I would ever even, like, entertain the thought of him being a wedding crasher with me. No, we're good. Khalifa, oof, man, maybe a cooler. Soap girl. Soap girl is either a cooler or an anti-wing man. I don't know. It looks like if she wanted to, she might she might could take my girl. Really, all of the coolers, honestly, if they wanted to, could totally take my girl, but I'll put her in. No, I mean, if she, if I tell her the plan and she's invested in coming through with the plan, I mean, the, that's the thing about Water 7 people. They they can stick to the plan, I guess. I'm leaving her cooler, whatever. Momonosuke. All that, all that shit you be doing, just jumping up and grab and just groping women, That that's going to work in the One Piece world. I can't just bring you here. What am I supposed to be like? This is my son. Don't mind him. He's handsy. Now, if Brooke is in here, then you got to be in here too, Momonosuke. I'm sorry. Dr. Hogback crashing out. Just creepy. He brought a woman back from the dead just so he could force her to be his wife. Yeah, good, good. Hachi? Hachi? No, nah, hell no. Nah. Hachi, let's, let's crash your wedding, bro. For real, for real. I don't see you being overly dramatic or doing anything, but, like, you're definitely... Let's, let's grab a drink. Rizo? Dog, listen, listen, listen. The magic involved, like, and stuff like that, I'm tempted to make him a Barney Stinson. He's not gonna be... But here's, here's the thing. Like... The ninjutsu and stuff that he's doing, he's not going to be able to come up with a, a, a decent plan, for sure. But he's already so theatric. He's already so, like, look at me, like, doing all this stuff. And it's just like, look, I don't know how many people would care about it. But, like, but if he does one trick that, like, the girl that you're with, she is just like, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Make him do it again. I mean, I don't want to turn him into a spectacle. But when you look like that and you can do magic, you... I just assumed you'd know that the reason I brought you is because you're a spectacle. Yeah, that might be a shocker, but Rizo has more potential than everybody else in the Wedding Crashers place just because of how theatrical that he is and how dramatic that he can be and his commitments to maybe doing some goofy stuff. Who knows? I mean, when we were first introduced to him, we were like, oh, this guy's so goofy. So I'm, I'm curious to see how that energy would translate. Hawkins, God... I don't know. I mean, you're not... You might, I get. Yeah, I don't know. I get. Just cr crash out, dude. Just crash out. Diamond Jozu, crash out. You look scary even in that picture. Alvita. I mean, we can crash your wedding. Bartolomeo. Um, he's a crash dummy, for sure. He's definitely scaring people away. I was about to say, like, if he was treating it like I was Luffy, then he would, like... You know, he would double down. But then he's just doing more stuff that's just like... Okay, this is just like... This is insane. This is actually insane. What is he doing? He is riding too hard for this man. The glazing just wouldn't stop even after, like, we, like, finished the mission. The glazing would continue. So, he's crashing out, for sure. Um, I don't remember what this guy's name was, but he was a really annoying part of Doflamingo's crew. And I, I, if I remember correctly, he turned into a plane. He's crashing out. He is crashing out. Bluno, uh, honestly, I would crash a... Would I crash a wedding with Bluno? I don't know. I don't think I care that much. But he's not in any of the other categories. Again, if Sengoku's in there, I gotta put him in there. Shiryu, anti-wingman. He just would... 
I don't know. That's a big ass crimson shanties guy. Maybe he's not stealing anybody's girl. Maybe he's just crashing out. Yeah, he does like to just murder for no reason. He's crashing out. Don't remember who, is that Shaka or the guy from Winter Island? I don't know. I guess either way they can be in the Wedding Crashers. Who cares? Sengoku. Yeah. He can, he can be a Wedding Crasher. Yeah, yeah, no. He can be a Wedding Crasher. He doesn't do anything. He does, he's not going to crash out. Cracker. Oh, God. He's, he's going to crash out, I think. I don't really see if he's just like... Look at his face. I don't know. I was about to think about putting him in a different category. Look at his face. Does that look like the person you want to be seen with? at all you know what i'm saying much less like you got to look your best for the woman you want to impress no crash out magellan god you look ridiculous and you're covered in poison crash out man just crash out oh scopper gabon don't have too much to say about him i feel like he'd be an anti i don't think he'd crash out he might you know what Ugh, yeah, I, uh, I don't know that much about him. This is hard. I want to say maybe a wedding crasher. Maybe we'd, maybe it'd be fine. Yeah, I'll call him a wedding crasher. Ivankov's buddy. What can he do again? I'm not putting him up there with Ivankov. I think at best he would be able to like, yeah, I'm not putting him up there. Gear five, Luffy. God. Put him at the top of the crash outs. I don't think you could get him to understand the assignment, much less. I thought that regular Luffy was the highest that crash out could go, but gear five Luffy, no, nah, that's a different beast. But there you have it, my definitive One Piece wingman tier list. Now I gotta say right off the bat, the Barney Stinson group, listen, I the achievement will be completed. Whatever you set out to do, whose ever attention you need, these people are gonna help you do it. You got Usopp crafting stories whenever you need, and he's also gonna be a really good drinking buddy, and he's just gonna be just an all-around, just like the best utility. Like, I think he's the top of the Barney Stinson tier. For me, like, I think it's gonna be the best choice that I could possibly go with. Usopp is top-tier wingman material. Then there's Ivankov, who would just get everybody drunk. They're having a good time. We're dancing. We're doing everything. They're singing the Okama Waste theme song and stuff like that it's gonna be funny didn't he rule the level six it impaled down he ruled that for like i don't know how many years just dancing and singing just having his own party down there isn't that why he didn't leave because he was throwing such a fun party no that's that listen it's gonna be fun all right need him on my team chopper like i said just i just bring him around and be like yo this is my son what up girl you know ain't he cute you could you could join our family if you want easy Uta, all she got to do is sing. Bon Clay, all, so many utility. These next two people, Bon Clay and Rizo, dude, they've got so much to offer. So many hijinks to offer. And also, like, even if they don't come up with, like, a really good plan, you could come up with a plan, but they have the tools to make sure that everything that you need to secure the bag, like, it's, it, you're... You're not going to fumble. You're not going to fumble with anybody in the Barney Stinson tier. I can promise you that. And then we get down to the wedding crashers, which is like, there's still some good people like Law is in here. I would definitely crash a wedding with Law. Frankie, I totally would. I just can't put him in the Barney Stinson category because I just don't, I don't think he's, he's not that, the, well, should Frankie be a Barney Stinson? That might be, no, 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 no. I, yeah, he's, he's where he needs to be. Kobe's another good one. Jim Bay. Like, we got some good people in this tier. All that. Of course, Nico Robin. I might move her to the top. Ooh. Ooh. Well, there we go. And we got the cooler section, which, listen, any of these women, if I'm out with any of these women, I gotta say, it, they are a cooler. Anything, anything I'm trying to, any other woman's attention I was trying to get, I picked the wrong people to go out with. Boa Hancock is there. What am I doing trying to get some somebody else's attention? That's all I'm saying. Then there's the crash dummies, which good God, I pity whoever takes any one of these idiots out to see if they can help them get the girl. Look at this. Luffy, Shiki, Don Krieg, Kaido. Why would you bring Kaido anywhere? Brooke, I think Brooke might, <laughs> Brooke might actually be the top of this, actually. Brooke truly might, because yeah, he can sing and he can dance and he can play music and do all of that stuff. And, but he's, you know, the, this, the panty jokes and the burping and the farting, it's just, it's immediately, not that he's a skeleton. That's not even to mention the fact that he's literally a walking skeleton. If that doesn't scare anybody away, then when he starts burping, farting, and asking people their panties, then 
you know, they're definitely scared off at that point. God, Garp is in there too. He is ready to throw that. He does not care how old he is. There's a guy that's just knives, Mr. One. Listen, these people are scaring everybody off. And the last tier is the anti-wingman tier, which, which all of these people, listen, if given the chance, they would take your girl, they would jump out of a window and just disappear into the darkness of night. They would be the bottom of this tier list. And just the most problems that you would have on your journey to get the woman's attention that you really want. So just don't bring the anti-wingman. No matter what you do, please, bring a crash dummy before you bring an anti-wingman. Like I said, you've got a chance if you bring Luffy out there. It's not a big chance, Honestly, depending on what mood he's in, that it might be as low as 13%, but it's it's better than 0% with Do Flamingo's flamingo coat and his abs just out everywhere. Or Sanji pulling out a cigarette talking about the power of love. I could, listen, I could do without all of that. All right, so that's it. That's the tier list, guys. Um, you guys seem to like the other one. Let me know if you guys like this one um, while I get the other uh, hilarious videos out for you guys. Um, I wanted to do a chapter review too, but it's just like, I don't know. If you guys are keeping up with the chapters um, and the chapter reviews that I do, this last chapter that came out, dude, it was just the biggest source of... Can I say blue balls on YouTube? There you have it. I thought this was fun. And like I said, I'm just really happy about the Barney Stinson tier. Now I'm going to... I might write something about... You know, Jimmy Scoops and Usopp go out to a bar and Scoops wants to get Stussy's attention and Usopp is Usopp is the guy. Oh man, and Ivankov too. Yeah, this is just I'm really happy with how this tier list came out. So yeah, please guys let me know in the comments if you agree or if you would put any of these characters into different spots. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being interested, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.